Toll Road here and I'm in Marshall, Michigan. We're gonna check out what this town has to offer. I hear there's a magic museum, a Honolulu house, kind of cool downtown, a couple of cool things we might be able to find. So buckle up, buckaroos. Better to take a ride on the toll road. And you can always count on small towns like this to, hey, let's look into this mural a little more. Established 1830. Historical Society. Ooh, Governor's Mansion. Education Oak. So they, uh, <laughs> you learned on the oak. If you didn't pay attention, you got it, your own stitch from that oak tree and you got whooped with it, I'll bet. Oz White must be a famous resident. That's a Honolulu house, which we'll check out. Memorial Foundation. That's a fountain downtown. It's not. Water's not going today, but I'll get down there for you. And of course, the American Museum of Magic. Head right downtown, Marshall, right next to the, uh, I'll show you here, right next to the big traffic circle and square, they have what is called the Honolulu House. Tours are available of this. Unfortunately, I'll be unable to take one today. Now, the Honolulu House was built in 1860 by Abner Pratt. Abner Pratt is a former Supreme Court Justice in the uh, state of Michigan. He also, under President James Buchanan, was a counsel to Hawaii and lived in Hawaii for a while. And wanted to bring some of that back to Michigan so he built what became known as the Honolulu House or the Abner Pratt House. The house was a single family home until 1951 where it was vacant for a while before it was taken over by the Historical Society. And I do believe tours are available on Tuesdays $12 for an adult. Pretty cool looking house. Here I'm at the American Museum of Magic in Marshall, Michigan. See the museum. The floor you're here in the stand, John. Look at the floor over there. That's the original floor from 1837. The section you're on was right up into the basement. They got this built. The American Museum of Magic was established in 1978 by a Detroit area journalist named Robert Lunn. Now, Robert wasn't a magician himself. He didn't have the uh, stage presence, I guess, like some of us think we have. But he was really into magicians and the posters and, and all that came with the magic of magic. And he began collecting these posters and, and stuff he collected, you know, some of the tricks that he would find. And it just grew too big for his garage. And finally, his wife, Elaine, was like, hey, buddy. We don't have room for all this. We're trying to trying to live a life here. We got a family. So they eventually got this building here, uh, 1860s era building in downtown Marshall, created this museum. Uh, she kept it up after his death. And after she passed away, it now became a, a nonprofit organization that runs it. And there's a small entry fee to get in. But if you're into magic at all, this is worth going in and checking out. And you'll see a bunch of... Houdini stuff, uh, magicians you may have never heard of from back in the day. David Copperfield, uh, I think they've got some David Blaine material in here. Really cool stuff. Heck, they might even have stuff from the great magician, the Mystifier. Here's a couple of suits you might notice or recognize. It's Penn and Teller. Are they still perform at the Rio in Vegas? At least I think they do. They've got that show, Fool Us, where magicians try to come and fool them, see if they can figure out their tricks. Now, you can probably start to tell why Elaine was telling her husband, Robert, that, hey, we don't have room for all of this stuff. Now, she wasn't against his, his magic fascination. Actually, she was very supportive, and she was the one that really went in to make sure these posters were in their pristine condition and refurbished and ready for show. Now, 
And just walking through here and seeing all these posters, I had no idea there were even this many magicians in the world ever. Like, have any of you heard of Thurston? Maybe he's big in the day. And this should be familiar to me, I would think. The Dayton Show? Who amongst us as a kid didn't see a magician and say, Wow, I wish I could do that. Well, I kind of like this wall because this is dedicated to all the toys they came out with a day that were designed for those that wanted to be magicians, even for that little bit. And I actually think my brother had one of these sets, the one with the magic hat. Now, he did not go on to become a world-famous magician, but let's not blame the toy. Eh, let's blame the toy. We can't blame ourselves for anything. A lot of cool memories here. Were any of you magicians? And yes, the displays here are just endless. And it is no surprise that this place has been called the Smithsonian of Magic. And I think I'll let somebody else test out the old guillotine illusion, just in case it's not an illusion. And probably the most classic magic trick of all time. The saw, the lady in half trick. Or is it a trick? I think it's a trick. That saw looks pretty real, though. I'll have to say the American Museum of Magic was a pretty fun little stop. I think I'll check out a little more of downtown Marshall, Michigan before we hit the road again. count on a beautiful church in a town like this too all right let's see what we have oh nice downtown vibe looks like we got another mural up here oh no old, old style gas pump there shell into urban depot let's get up to this uh mural here and check out walter's Walt's filling station, huh? Get a little zoom in on that. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's an old Royal Depot here, like probably ran from here to Detroit, maybe all the way to Grand Rapids, maybe even Chicago. And there's R.C. Walters. Check out the facade on this East End Studio Gallery. Old Wagner's block that. Epic. Cool downtown vibe and check out that old school Rexel drug store sign. Awesome. Awesome. I like this storefront too, Mancino's. Pizza and grinders. That yeah, looks good. And look at this old school post office. Columns and all. That's they don't make them like that anymore. I didn't even notice the facade of that building when I walked by. That was right next to the Rexel drugstore. Flowers here. Okay. Hidden alleyway here I found. Oh, this is their sister city. Koka. I'm pronouncing that wrong. City in Japan. I wonder in Coca City if they have pictures of Marshall on a, in an alley somewhere. Here's the fountain I was telling you about. Not run as a day. Honolulu house right across the street there. And right here, oh, City Hall Welcome Center. Let's we'll see if we can get the. Uh, everybody likes to see a clock tower, don't you? Yeah, now I know what time it is. 
That's going to do it for the tow road here in Marshall, Michigan. And uh, to all you Marshall residents out there, who knows? Who knows where the toll road will lead to next?